Hey everybody, this is a SparkFun Wave Trigger or Robert Sonic's Wave Trigger module uh, that is designed to work with modular synthesizer. Obviously, you probably won't be putting it in a can. If you do, that's fantastic. But my project can be used with any other format you choose. Um, right now, it's just running off of a USB power. Um, theoretically, you could work. Um, you could use this with plus 12 volts, um, or even running it off a USB if you want. I have it plugged into a speaker. Um, I don't have a way to trigger it right now, so I'm just going to be touching the inputs, which are okay. So it's an Arduino. The triggers are triggered with transistors, which you can see right there. There's five transistors. There's four triggers for... Check your body. favorite feature is the okay so it has four banks each of these four triggers can do that or bank two I'm bank three Sucker. bank four bank four This is the my favorite. It's a trigger which triggers. Hello, triggers. And we have jumped. It. Um, which triggers a wave file that can be selected by this knob, the track knob. There's four different banks. I have about thirty samples behind each bank that are triggered by this trigger and selected by this track knob. So you can select um, on the fly. A different track. So we need to go. Oh, this stuff related to increasing. All this stuff related to you says I know you're here. I should know you are involved in it. It should be this big stick. Serious, it can't break. Why is it? So that's a demonstration. Once it's in my in my modular synthesizer, I'll be able to trigger these things with an actual trigger, not just touching the things with my finger. Um, and I'm really excited about it. SD card right there. I haven't put an amplifier in it yet to be able to get the uh, output levels from about two volts peak to peak to modular levels, which is about 10 volts peak to peak. I have one out, which is going to be mono, and I'm also going to use the headphones out to plug into my mixer to get stereo, because it would be a shame. This is a you know CD quality stereo part. It outputs amazing quality audio compared to what I'm used to. Um, so it'd be a shame to lose that. All right. I hope you guys build it. Oh, and if you're interested in the schematic, here it is. 
I will leave a link to the schematic. <laughs> or you can just pause the video. <laughs> no, I'll leave the link to the schematic uh, in the notes. All right, thanks for watching.